Well, welcome back everyone to another episode of Let's Play Sly Cooper. I know the last one ended kind of abruptly and we're not quite back where we were, but I was interrupted during my recording, so here I am. Um, we did miss a bottle, which you all should be able to find pretty easily. Just the very first couple of uh, platforms, it was on a string basically under not even under the bridge, just kind of hanging there. You should see it pretty easily. Also got another lucky charm on my way over here. Oh, I think we're back to where we were, so it's all good. Now, uh, if you pay attention, you can see where those wires have kind of broken off. That's where that the fan's going to go. Not too tricky. Alright. And again, just even though you don't necessarily have to double jump at those, I choose to because it just kind of guarantees that slide's going to grab on. Okay, another one of these. I don't know if you can tell or not, but today I went and got a headset. Previously I was using the Blue Snowball, which is a really great desktop um, microphone, but it was getting kind of annoying to record on my PlayStation with because I had to either hold it or get it in the perfect position, which it wouldn't necessarily stay in. So. I'm enjoying being able to kind of sit wherever I want and get hopefully just as good quality. Break this. You don't really need all the coins, but whatever floats your boat. Quick glance around, I see a couple of them up there. Which, oh, okay. Kind of tricky, whoa. Apparently that pipe is slippery. Or it's turning, that could be it too. Down this way. I'm going to try not to fall in any lava and or tiki torches today. Um, oh, here's the vault. Pretty sure there's a few more clues up this way, so no worries. Okay, apparently we are taking this up. Some intense platforming going on right now. Uh, okay, I guess we're just breaking that entire thing. It's all good. I was hoping there'd be some more bottles up this way, but what do you know? There are not. So I'm going to turn back around real quick and get those before I head on. You can come back to the levels easily, but might as well do it now. Oh. Oh, and what do you know? There's one. Okay. Darn it. Thinking there's probably, yeah, there's the rest of ours. It's gonna be over here. Plus that one that I failed to get. Grab it. Or 
cranked up the air in this room, but it's been so hot recently. Not helping too much. I had to turn the fan off because I don't want annoying fan blowing in the background of the audio. Okay, so as we saw before, there is our last bottle. Which you do not get by doing that. Here I was thinking this LP would go smoothly. This is just one bottle. Oh my god. It's like I'm not waiting another cycle for that. I'm just go up. Oh damn it. I hear you, Bentley. I hear ya. Hopefully you're not feeling as bad as I am at this right now. I think this entire LP could be titled Bad Parkour. Probably be fitting enough. Um, I'm gonna scope this out, you know what? Gotta be pro. Pressing the wrong button. Here we go. Now we can go ahead. Get the vault code all up in here. That must have been a hard one, Bentley. We're already at 5%. Oh, I love this one. Than anyone else could on the run. Hold down the triangle button to use this move. Switch between your power-ups using L2 and R2. The roll has got to be one of my favorite power-ups in this this entire game. That's not to say it is the best power up in the game. Far from it, but well I guess I have to walk across this pipe now. Since that is not going to respawn. Or come back. Whatever. Whichever term you prefer. Okay. I almost fell into the lava. Grab the key. Key number two. I get this. We'll be doing uh, high class high snacks. Now I'm not doing these in any particular order, although um, one of these quests, uh, quest room, whatever, will give you blueprints to the basically to the entire world or place you you're in. I don't I don't know what you want to call it. I've been playing Spyro too much. Um, but anyway, the blueprints will basically tell you if you've missed any bottles, first of all, and if you have, essentially where they are in your Binocucom. This is like... Oops. Couldn't have gotten through that without... Um, this is a pretty like small area level um from what i remember oh damn it <laughs> i'm just gonna go ahead and go up and get the turn off this laser beam thing right now because as you can see from that i'm having a fail time okay so this is what this is one of the ones that tricked me the first time. There are bottles up here, and it makes it extremely hard for you to get up here if you do not. Oh wait, maybe I'm thinking of the ones on the other side. But don't break that safe. Just go ahead. I I guess you could. 
go like this too. Just ignore what I'm saying. Uh, this one you can come around here though. This one took me forever to figure out. Like, oops, I spent a really long time looking for the last bottle. One bottle when it was basically right, right there the entire time. So, try to do this a little better this time instead of falling off. There we go. Head back down. Whoa! Camera angle. Glitched out. You can break all this stuff if you want to. We have a gold horseshoe right now though, so I'm not really gonna bother. There's the big safe you got there. And over here on this side, you are going to find a bunch of them too. Grab these real quick. Head on our way. There's a couple guys up here who want to belly flop on you, and I just... Okay. Both of them just belly flopped on me at the same time. Whatever. There we go, T Torch. Take that. Okay. Can't get hit on this one. So basically, you get to play jump rope across these lily pads. If you like jump rope, that's all good. If you don't, then, well, sucks to be you, but... Wow. Okay, that was a close one. Um, I'm gonna go back and get those. You could, if you, if you're like pro MLG like that, you can go ahead and get the bottles while you're jumping away from the lasers. I just prefer to take it out and then go back for it. One less thing you have to worry about. I'm gonna, okay, the camera angles, again, very strange. Really not sure why it wants me to sneak around. Oh my god. I swear <laughs> on my normal playthroughs, I do not set that alarm off. Whether you choose to take my word for it or not, it's up to you, but. I'll come back for that in a second. Grab these two, and our last two, if I'm not mistaken, should just be chilling out over here. Get your 30 out of 30. I'm just gonna head back right now. And go unlock that. Safe my camera would the thing I have noticed getting so used to playing games now like Fallout or something or Halo um, really makes you appreciate how easy it is for you to adjust the camera whereas in these games your camera angle will just go nuts I think we got that part down. Four, three, and I guess it would be faster to go this way. So again, I've already platinum this, so it's not gonna keep you're not gonna see my achievement things pop up up in the right hand corner, but Oh, okay, so here we go. This is, uh... Yeah. Bentley, Bentley, just let us know. It's going to show us which for one of these levels I had trouble with. I could have used that. Um. Anyways. 
I don't even remember. Oh my god, I have the roll set. So, yeah, that's what I was, I was saying. Um, you're not gonna, you're not gonna see the achievements pop up on my screen, but you should be getting them for each individual clue bottle, and I'm almost 100% sure you should probably be getting them for each key. Don't quote me on that, but it's really, it's, it's really easy to platinum this game. Essentially, you don't really need to collect that many coins. All you have to do is get all the clue bottles. And and then just do the regular all the regular stuff you would do to beat the game. Alright, next we will head up here. Up this fly. See that machine wheel? If my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right, applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum velocity will yield a positive result. You mean something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough? Isn't that what I just said? So essentially you just run on that. Not rocket science. Creepy creeps our way into here. Fire down below. Oh, I'm pretty sure temperatures reading way off the charts in here. This must be the power source for the storm machine. So in this level, for some reason the game designers thought it would be pretty funny to stick the vault right at the beginning of the level, so I will probably end up just coming back in the level, just exiting the level normally, and then coming back in uh, just to get the clue bottle. Okay. I'm Wow, okay. So used to being able to get hit. Now these things will actually reopen, those things I was just on, uh, if you wait long enough, so don't stand there. Should be pretty self-explanatory, I don't know who would stand in a a vent full of fire, but that's your kind of thing. Just try to contain yourself. Alright, double check that we have everything in this area. And I think we are good to go. Yeah, not seeing anything over there. Which is why this definitely comes in handy. I did not use this for my first, um, the first time I played this. And don't worry, you can get, you can get back up there to get those bottles in a second. Um, ideally... It's good to do the level with the blueprints first. So, I, ha I don't have them all memorized, which one, which one has the blueprints or something like that. So, basically, we'll find out which one has the blueprints just through trial. That was a close one. We're gonna have to jump down though for this bottle. Unfortunately, not too bad that well. Go flying every which way. Our classy getaway roll, just in case. Oh, dang it. Okay. Another issue of having parkour troubles. 
that might have to be in the name of this episode. As I get more used to this game again though, it should become... It should, in theory, become easier. So I went out... Oh! Well, there you go. Get a free uh, lucky charm there. Which I'm not gonna waste on that guy. Or this guy for that matter. I went out today and along with the headset got the Ratchet and Clank collection which I've been basically dying to get uh, since I since I uh, first heard about it which was a while back. Um, I've yet to open it. I'm... well I may do an unboxing I doubt it. There's already since the game's been out Actually, I don't even know how long it's been out, but, um, I don't have a very good camera to do that, so I might make some online videos if I can get my PlayStation Network to upload or, um, update in a timely manner. No promises, though. I think it would be pretty fun to make videos of the online section, portion of that game, whatever you want to call it, so... This part's tricky. You gotta do this, but with the searchlight, not sure why there's searchlight there. I think I'm just gonna. Didn't really matter. Oh, of course, there's gonna be like five other lights. At least they're going really slow. Sometimes it's best to just kind of take these slow, which I'm terrible at, but if you want to make sure that you're not going to get hit, that's the best way to do it. Another key, we've got all the bottles, but um, I'm just going to head back into the level after we get out right here. Oop, spit us back out, but that's no problem. Oops, so used to, the, well, I said this before, I'm so used to having the sprint button. I just keep clicking that on accident. Let's go grab the, oh, can't go that way. Nope. I don't know why on earth there's like a door right here, but. I guess you have to sneak around. Okay. Not sure if Bentley's gonna keep telling us to press the circle button or. Five seven nine. Correcto mundo. Alright, the slow motion will come in handy. Not so much as the speeding up time, which I'm not sure when you get it, because the speeding up time will allow you to run faster if you're impatient like me. We are, however, getting short on time, so I think this will be it for this episode. I'm going to keep recording, so... I'll be starting a new episode in a couple minutes, but this most likely won't be updated the same day. So, uh, have a good evening, whatever it is when I upload this, and uh, I'll see you for next episode.